Um, the report in the uh, our paper with regard to the Lehman situation, I heard the question earlier in the test and, and your answer to that. It seems as though the, the, the answer you gave, and I was outside listening to that, was to to extent was you were not the primary um, regular in that, regulator in that case. But let me just ask it this way. Um, the Fed was there on scene. The paper reports of, of uh, your folks being over at the uh, Lehman's embedded, as they say, over there. Was the Fed, was the Fed aware of the uh, uh, 105 repo situation and the accounting irregularities going on? So no. You, no. you were not? No. And the reason that you were not aware of them was because? They were, they were hidden. They were hidden. We had, we have currently, uh, for example, uh, we are currently the principal regulator of Goldman Sachs, and we have about a dozen people on site and another dozen people who are looking at the company. We had, in this case, I think two people assigned to Lehman, and their main, their main obligation was to make sure we got paid back our loans. So it was not our responsibility or our capacity in the middle of the crisis to, to look at that. So when the paper reports, uh, oh, I know is what I read in the paper on this one, what the paper reports is that there was a dozen people over there, only a couple of them, too, were yours, the rest, think, of the, yeah. the rest of them were the SECs? That's my information, yes. And should, should there have been more in as much as before, um, Lehman would not have had access to the discount window up until this period of time, correct? Well, again, our objective was to make sure our loan was safe, and they were safe. We got paid back. All right. So, um, well, you, you did get paid back, but um, is, is that because the collateral was adequate? And how would you know that if not an adequate investigation was doing as far as their, account, uh, their accounting was being done? Well, it was largely the collateral. Um, also, um, the loan we made was to the brokerage and not to the holding company, so that was a bit of a distinction as well. Um, but we, we took collateral and we took extra large haircuts to make sure that it was safe. And you, you, you intrigue me when you say that you only have a couple of folks over, over at Goldman, and I guess that's as we speak. Uh, there are about a dozen folks who... A dozen folks who, over who, there. Um, is, uh, I got this number this morning. I think okay. it's approximately I'm, right. About a dozen folks who go to work at Goldman every day. Okay. And I'm not going to hold you to the number on that. Is, in, in light of these um, reports, is that something that we should be concerned about, uh, activity these other uh, houses as well? Is that something that, A, should we be concerned about, and B, is that something the Fed should be concerned well, about? And um, should, are you looking into it? Lehman, Lehman, of course, obviously is no longer in existence, but uh, uh, Goldman and Morgan Stanley are, are, and Merrill, et cetera, are now under the Fed's consolidated supervision, and so now it's our responsibility, and we are paying attention to these issues. And so you are, are, you, are you specifically looking to, at their uh, accounting procedures to see whether the same sort of activity is going on now or was it going on at that time as well? I, I don't know. I'd have to check and see you know, whether we've been looking at that. We, this, this report just came out this week. Right. I mean, would that be one of the gaps then that we should be concerned about then going forward? Well, that's, I mean, if we're the consolidated supervisor, then it's our responsibility and we need to do a good job to do that. But of course, there are lots of things to look at. In the case of Lehman, I have to say, in the case of Lehman, it was pretty clear that they were in weak condition, independent of this particular piece of accounting. Well, that's, that's interesting that you say that, because the, uh, the New York Fed did not one, not two, but three actual uh, stress tests, right? Liquidity stress tests. Liquidity stress tests. And each time they came back as they failed those stress tests, correct? That's right. That's right. right. Were any recommendations then made to uh, Lehman before additional funds were lent to them? Uh, yeah. Let, let we, uh, we pushed them, and uh, Secretary Paulson pushed them, and I'm sure the SEC pushed them to improve their financial position and to raise capital, if at all possible. But they were unable to raise uh, uh, sufficient capital. Well, m my understanding is, according to the, the examiner's report, the New York Fed required no action from Lehman in response to the stress test. Is that an incorrect understanding? Well, the, the key word there is required. We have no authority to require them to do anything. And did you, re, did you indicate this to their um, regulator, that the, their regulator should require that then of them? The gentleman's time has expired. I don't have um, the exact information that you're asking. If, if you could get back the on that last point. The time has expired. Thank the you. gentleman from Kansas, Mr. Moore, is recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Chairman Bernanke and former Chairman Volcker, thank you both for your testimony this afternoon, and thank you for your public service. You both have had to take some, strong, some very unpopular actions during economic downturns, but I believe without your efforts, which I ap ap approve and, and applaud, and without an independent Fed, I don't think we'd be where we are today in our recovery from the financial crisis. Last year, this committee in the House approved a strong bill creating an independent consumer financial protection agency, and Senator Dodd's recent proposal has a truly independent consumer financial protection bureau located in the Fed. Chairman Volcker. 
would you support separating, quote, safety and soundness regulations from consumer protection so that each can focus on one mission and do their job better? Is that something you could support, sir? Well, I think you can separate uh, consumer protection from uh, safety and soundness. I think there is some overlap uh, because some of the consumer protection has implications for safety and soundness. But by and large, I think they are distinct enough so that you can separate them. Yes. Thank you. And with respect to the Fed's bank supervision powers contained in the Senate's recent proposal, I'm concerned that it will turn the Fed's focus away from smaller financial institutions and focus it only on the largest banks and institutions on Wall Street. Do you share this concern, uh, Chairman Bernanke? Very much so. Very much so. We, we, we value very greatly our connections to small and medium-sized banks. We learn a lot from them. We learn a lot.